Hey guys, I'm sitting here fixing to get off my butt and I got two things I might do. I need to go out there and cut that floor out of the uh, doghouse to shed and then I'll go from there and see what kind of wood I have that I could put around it and uh, start rebuilding it and see if I can reuse that wood that I drop out. That's the whole thing about the Sawzall. I know the, the uh, OSB board can be cut out, okay, because it was built, it was laid out, and then the walls were put on top of it, so i got to cut it out. I could use the uh, bandsaw, is that what it's called, at a, like a quarter inch width and try not to hit, hit any of those studs, because I want to be able to use the same studs down the bottom, at least the frame. Um, but my next idea was I hate my island. I don't like it. It's just, it's in the way. And I, I want more space. And if I took my island out, I would be able to take my dining room table and add the leaf in it and make it longer and like more like farmhouse, you know, like an open kitchen with just a table. But I, I just don't like islands. I haven't liked islands. I used to love them, but I don't like them. And I don't want one in my house. So I want it more open with just the dining room table in there. So I think the dining table would actually start getting used for what it's meant, you know, to be sitting down and eating and not something to catch all that sports in my dining room right now. But uh, if it would be long enough to stick halfway into my kitchen and halfway into my dining room, so it'd just give me so much more space where my new hutch and all that is. So uh, I don't know, that's what I'm contemplating. I guess uh, I gotta sit here a minute longer and try to figure it out. And uh, I guess you'll know in about one second. <laughs> Plan. I'm putting on my little fanny pack. My little dog Shasta is my sidekick. She'll follow me around while I do this. We're going to get that floor cut out. I had an idea. I'm going to grab the bandsaw. Come on. I call that a bandsaw. I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to find the sawzall. Anything else I need? I'm going to grab the hoppers. It is on. Right, first things first, I'm going to rig this tripod open. I can't do no recording until that's working. I'm just going to try to support it here. Let's see. Let me, hmm. Do it like this, I guess, first. I wasted too much tape. Let's see, I'm do that. Take that man, I feel like something's on my foot. Oh. That's why I got on these leggings. It's a nice, beautiful day. I could get some sun. Can't really get no sun out here, though. But, uh, oh, I had a freaking tick on my head the other day when I, when I laid down in this thing under the shed. Sure did. I ain't had a tick since I was a little girl. Sucked. Now I feel like there's ticks all over me, so I wore these long pants because I do not want another one. It's on my freaking head. Sore as heck now. I got the head off of it though. Positive of that. We'll see if that works. Hopefully it'll be strong enough. Alright. Every time I walk by this, this stupid thing pulls my glasses off. It is coming down. Right now. Look. Oh, these are the bad pair. I need to go get a good pair. This, these ain't worth a crap. They need to be sharpened. Hold on, I grabbed the wrong pair. These are the ones that... Oh, no, I didn't. Cool. Those are the ones I had the other day. Watch how good these are since I... Well, I didn't sharpen them. Jeremy did. Well, <laughs> I lied. Let me try a different spot. Oh, come on, seriously? What the heck? It broke anyhow. These are nice. What is going on? You just sharpened me. Is it me? <laughs> just me? There it goes. It's just an old dad, dad stuff. It's hard as a brick. Golly. No, I'm tired of it getting caught in my hair. Pain in the butt. Oh, oh, 
all that crap's coming down. This is just a hard, hard limb or something. That's better. That's a lot better. Let me clean that up so I don't trip on it. I will trip. I lose my balance all the time. I have vertigo. Bad. Oh. for just throwing them over there when I get ready to pull them over. Huh? Got me a mask. I brought this little head thing out here so maybe I can stand that up in here. I definitely need some light. I'm going to go in there and try it. But, uh, it's taking me forever to get this thing to set up and not keep falling over because of that leg. So I'm going to try to put it in here real quick. This ought to be good and funny, huh? I kept saying, oh, this will be a breeze for me to get in. We'll see. <laughs> oh, i got to get my tea. I hmm. That hurt. I just hit my head on that stupid awning. I'll be glad this heck is done. Man, I can see the floor in here a lot better today. I wonder if when I was messing with that bottom, if I... Whoa, that split. That's crazy. I can see the floor, the white, the air. Not the air. You know what I mean. The sunlight coming all the way through the bottom. Okay. Oh, man. There's a new cobweb. Oh. All right. See, I knew I could just sit in here. Okay. It's fine. As soon as I came in here, I had a granddaddy long leg. Look. Granddaddy long leg has already taken over. Not just here. I mean, there's there's cobwebs everywhere, and they weren't here the other day. So, I'm going to hop out. i got to go get an aspirin, too. My head's hurting. And uh, get a broom. I went and got my little step ladder much easier. It's impossible for me. I got me my dog's pillow for uh, my knees, my drink. I got something else. Oh, I got this old broom. So let me get rid of the cobwebs real quick. Oh, jeez. Man, this thing is so dirty. I tell you what, I'm going to lose a lot of that dirt when this floors drop. I really don't want to use this. OSB anymore, but if I have to, I have to. I ain't gonna have to. It ain't that expensive. It probably costs 60 bucks for both pieces. It's only two, four, two, uh, four by eights. All right, let me set this phone up. Y'all check that out. I'm gonna put my phone on that. Look at that. I've been struggling with the stupid tripod forever, and it keeps falling, and now it's all bent up and jacked up, so. I put my bandsaw up thinking, okay, I'm gonna use the Sawzall, because i got to get right up next to the board, right? I need to get this plywood out, and then maybe I can use those boards. I'd rather ruin this and have bits and pieces, have to replace this, than have to replace boards. So, I don't, because I, I don't want to end up finishing. I mean, I want to do as much as I can today. I don't want to have to go buy lumber today. I'm going to see what all I've got. I know I've got some eight... <sighs> Eight by eight posts out there. Oh, some strong things, and they're pressure treated. I've had those for a long time, so I put that all up. I'm going to get it back out, and I'm just going to start right here over and just, you know, where there's not a stud and cut it out and try to break it up. Then I can get my studs out maybe without ruining them. Okay, that's the plan for now. Hmm. I'm going to start right here. See what I can do. Y'all can see me, I guess. Oh, this is always scary. Right, let's see. Right. Let's go the other way. You see a butt shot of me. I will not put this on the face. Alright, they've got it nailed. How come I can't see anything? 
freaking nails on this. I mean, there's no nails, guys. That makes no sense. Oh, my knees. This is not even funny, y'all. Ow. I'm going to climb out and uh, go that way with it. Come on. Get out. Oh, good grief, y'all. Whoa, there is like no support in this thing at all. So that's his stud. I know there ain't one here, so. Jesus, watch over me, please. I always forget to say that. Oh, Jeremy stole my power, I thought I could do this, because this board is going to have to come off. That'll make it easier here, so let me start prying this off. That's just another board. Let me get rid of it over here. Okay. Let's see. Let's trip on these cinder blocks behind me. That gum it, man. Oh, I think I gotta move these stupid cinder blocks. Okay. Oh, please nothing be under it. Oh. Let's look at the other one too. I don't see nothing. Thank goodness. Good, I'm in my ladder. myself so I don't fall backwards. Alright y'all. That was a lot easier than I thought. Y'all okay. you know that dirt? I don't know if y'all can see it. Man, it's so dirty. Ah, there we go. Awesome. Can y'all see that dirt falling out of it? Those. 
four doors. That way I can finish building. I have to go Home Depot. Ta-da! It's starting to look like, I mean, that's going to be my doorway into my shop. Ain't that something? It's got a hole. I want to take that awning down bad, but I cannot because it will get in there, and I do not want anything getting wet, so <sighs> I'm going to have to leave that up, and then I'm going to have to buy some plywood. Actually, unless I could piece together the, uh, some of this OSB board and then side it, I'm definitely going to have to get some metal or something to put on the bottom. I don't know what, what I'm going to do yet, but do something. Yay! I might have a piece of metal. That'd be awesome. At least for the front, for now. Huh. A little bit of time. I ain't spent no money yet, so that's the whole point. Doing stuff without spending money. I'm still videotaping, but I noticed something. Look up there. You know what that is? Carpenter dust. Carpenter bee dust. That, that means this needs to be painted quick, or they'll start destroying it. They probably already have. Alright. just wanted to show you that. I think that's something. I know because it's on my porch. Oh, I'm going to show you all this other pen real quick. I'm not going to go in there, but I, I put that fence up all by myself. Yeah. Anyway, there's, well, actually, Julie uh, and her husband came. My sister and her husband came and helped me stretch it. Stretch, they stretched it and put it on there because I can't remember. I think I had surgery, but I put all them posts up. I even pour concrete in them. It's 150 feet long. Anyway, there's that other shit, uh, dog house I was telling y'all about that we had to build. And uh, my brother-in-law and my husband built that. So they did that after when I was doing chemo or something like that. But it's built well. But I'm thinking about making that and all of this for chickens. Meat chickens and eggs. That's an awesome chicken coop, though. My husband will have to get in there and clean it up, though, because I can't climb into that because you can't stand up in it. And I can't bend over because my back's messed up. But, uh, so you get in there and clean it up. We hadn't used it in a long time, many, many years. Look at the uh, pine straw. That's some good mulch, boy. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. That I'm, over there is where our water hose is. That's why I put the gate to the fence there. But uh, I'm going to put a fish cleaning station, build us a little fish cleaning station. I already have a sink and everything, but I'm going to put it right there. Yeah, because we, we like to go fishing and stuff. I hadn't done it in a long time, but we're both getting better, so <laughs> hold on. We'll go back to the house.
broken. All right, just climbed out of there. Oh, there's all my boards that I took out, and that I can step on them. They're rotten, but I got like four or five stacked on top of each other on that hole. Check it out, guys. I'm so proud of myself. I can't tell you. It's been since 20, 2014 since I could do anything. Six years. Look, it's almost out. And then all I gotta do is <laughs> get these four joists out, and I'm gonna drop them down. I'm gonna frame it in, of course. I'm gonna have to buy some two by sixes or whatever. But uh. Almost out. I got this little section here. That's it. I already started cutting on it, so it goes all the way back there. It's about four feet long, I guess. That's no big deal. Got the rest of that where that pillow is, my nails. But man, I'm stoked. Let me scoot back and show you all this. This is gonna be so cool. Imagine a door there, because that's gonna be my shop. That awning will be gone. Gonna have a door. And you walk right in. I'll have to raise it up. I gotta get all those two by fours off. Yeah, I don't think I can stand here. Oh no, it's like right at my head. There's no way. I gotta get all these nails. Hey, there's some screws. I can get those out right now because I feel still feel good. I just can't do anything that's gonna hurt my back. I think I'll get those out right now. They're just like Phillips head screws. That's from that carpet. I'm gonna and get that out. Because when I take these boards out, the less screws and stuff in it, the better. Or nails, I mean. I'm stoked. Alright. I love y'all. God bless y'all. I will make a part four, I guess. Love y'all. God bless. Y'all be careful. Bye.